Uh, so I've had the pleasure today of playing this set of border pipes and um, they were probably made in the late 1700s. Um, in terms of things that aren't from the, the 1700s, uh, we've got a wee bit of a modern bag, um, a Gore-Tex hide bag uh, composite and also uh, the stocks uh, were 3D printed stocks recently. Um, the stocks that came with the pipes are very delicate and I would believe the bag has maybe perished being leather and uh, roughly 200 plus years old. Um, they're always the bits that go first, and then uh, the reeds as well um, are kind of a modern take on the reeds. Uh, in terms of kind of what's interesting about these pipes, um, I think social context has changed. Um, we're now trying to make these pipes uh, play indoors and with other instruments, but historically they were kind of an outdoor instrument. Uh, played in the borders, uh, certainly the, the town pipers, there's a lot of pictures, uh, paintings of town pipers, um, and they were played outdoors for occasions and also maybe as uh, curfews as well, when you were had to go to bed at eight o'clock, the town piper would come out and signal that. Um, so in the kind of sound that we've got with these pipes, it's a bit more open, um, a bit louder, and I th also believe that kind of the tuning on the chanter has changed a lot over the years. Um, we can even notice that um, with modern Highland pipes compared to Highland pipes that were made 100 years ago. Um, the, the, the size of the holes have changed and the kind of the tuning's changed. So certainly in terms of our uh, modern ear, these might sound a little bit out of tune, but I would believe that back in the day that the that kind of people's ears would be more attuned to the scale that was getting played. Um, so there's certain notes that were maybe a bit sharp to our ears and then other notes uh, we flattened down. So especially uh, the note G, so the sixth and also uh, the fourth note. So the tune there, uh, it was the first part of a tune called Mary Scott, uh, which is a very old uh, border uh, tune. And um, yeah, it's just a lovely kind of melody and uh, yeah, a kind of believe, it's certainly a very old tune and um, it's also known as the Fields of Yarra um, and words have been set to that tune as well. 